My fighting style is native freestyle, half panda, half koala. Um, I think my fighting style is really freestyle, kind of balls to the wall. Uh, I like to do a lot of Muay Thai, a lot of knees and elbows. I'm not really too concerned with my record. I just like to entertain the fans, go to town. I don't, I'm not really in here to win a points battle. I either want to win the fight or lose the fight. Kick his ass until he goes to sleep or I choke him unconscious or break his leg arm. My game plan is to beat him up and win. Now I'm in better shape and got my muscle back and now I'm ready to rock and roll. Worked on my takedown defense quite a bit and uh, defense off my back because I know he's a good wrestler. That's the one area that he's pretty good at. So I'm hoping I can exploit his other weaknesses. Jason Drake, four and five, fighting out of Bakersfield, California. He enters his 10th professional mixed martial arts bout tonight, currently on a 3-5 losing streak. Drake looks to rebound against a hometown favorite tonight in Poppy's Martinez. In his last fight out, he lost to Art Arseniega by guillotine choke in just 21 seconds. Drake will enjoy a significant reach advantage, though. If he stays on the outside, strikes, there's a good chance for him to do something to Poppy Martinez. As we mentioned, I mean, Poppy Martinez isn't someone who's, who's typically fought back from adversity in the past. So if Jason Drake can frustrate him a bit, use the fact that he's six foot two to Poppy Martinez is five nine and has much longer arms to stay on the outside and frustrate him, he's got a much better chance here. If this ends up on the ground though, you're both dealing uh, in both cases you're dealing with guys who go for submissions, can finish submissions but aren't necessarily the best in terms of submission defense. So if this goes to the ground, it's just going to be an all out roll fest to see who can grab the first submission. But on the feet, I'm very curious in seeing how the, the reach is negotiated. We've seen multiple fights tonight with long rangey guys against much shorter squattier guys. We'll see whether or not Poppy Martinez can do the same kinds of things that Angel Bianca did against Drew Montgomery earlier to maximize his benefit. The length is going to be something that Poppy's Martinez is going to have to weather early before he can figure it out. Poppy, in a fight, how long until you really can get comfortable with that reach? I mean, what do you have to do? Is, is, it, is it, you know, surviving a storm? Is it, is it feeling it out? You know, it, the, the reach could be a, a problem, but, you know, if somebody doesn't know how to use, use the reach, it's pretty much useless. The other thing, too, is who's dictating the pace, who's setting up, who's getting the guy to commit. Montgomery was overcommitting earlier earlier tonight, and that's what allowed him to get countered. So could Poppy's Martinez do that? There's several ways to approach a guy who has a lot of reach. You could just shoot underneath, take him down. Another thing you could do is move your head and then try to slip on the inside, get to a clinch. Another way, slip on the inside, try to hit him uh, you know, in the pocket and get out. Um, there's several ways to approach this. Comfortable, you're not really comfortable until you get in there and see what the guy's timing is. The main thing is timing with reach. If the guy has bad timing, has long reach, it doesn't matter, you're gonna get in and get out. So could, can Poppy Martinez, uh, you know, dictate the, the, the distance by having better timing? That's the question to me. Poppy's Martinez returns to the Tachi Palace fights case for the first time since losing to Tony Lamas. However, the Tachi kid has picked up a win since then, defeating Raymond Doxey in Gladiator Challenge by TKO. He's got to have a lot of pressure on him though tonight because it wasn't that long ago where he lost to Tony Lamas. So some validation for the Tachi kid could be in order tonight. Looking at the tail of the tape, a large experience advantage for Martinez, 20 wins, eight losses to Jason Drake's four wins and five losses. Drake the elder by five years. Martinez is still young. He's still only 29 years old. He's got almost 30 fights. So he can still improve. He tra he, I know he goes up to Sacramento and trains with Team Alpha Male. He, you know, he's, he's seeking out the knowledge and seeking out the training partners to help him get better. We'll see how he looks tonight. The pride of the tribe behind to the, the Tachi kid tonight here at TPF 14 Validation in Lemoore, California. Martinez in the cage, getting the final instructions from referee Jason McCoy. Let's go up to Joe Martinez and get our official introductions. Jim, we are set to go with our next bout tonight. Three rounds scheduled in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter standing six feet, two inches tall. Weighing it officially 154 and one half pounds tonight. He looks to even his professional record with his fifth victory. From Bakersfield, California, here is Jason Drake. And next, his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter standing five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in 153 and one half pounds and brings 28 bouts into the cage, which include 20 victories and eight defeats. 
He is the fighting pride of Lamar, California. The Tachi King, Puppy Martinez. Referee in charge, Jason McCoy. Poppy's Martinez looks to be in very good shape. He looks a lot meaner, uh, and he actually weighed in under the weight class. So I'm He was even surprised. He said on the scales, I could have kept eating. I mean, Poppy's Martinez, as you mentioned, Mojave, someone who has struggled before, blows up between fights, but is in much better shape for this fight than he usually is for fights, even at 155 pounds. The Tachi kid in the black trunks with the orange trim, Jason Drake with the blue. I think Tachi Martinez is much better when he's moving forward. He's reacting off. Oh, nice takedown. He's reacting off of Drake's shots, and I think he made the wise, cho wise choice and took him down to the ground. See what Martinez can do here from Drake's close guard. You see, this is good for Martinez. Drake's obviously defensive. He really doesn't want to be here, and this is actually where Poppy's is best. So if he can break from the overhooks here, start ground and pounding and passing guard as he tries to walk him all the way to the fence here from the other side, this is where he can start implementing his game. He's working to pass the guard here towards uh, Martinez's left side. He cleared the overhooks. He's gonna look to push Marti uh, uh He's gonna look to push his leg down right there. Martinez passing towards the left side. He wants to push Drake's right knee down. Oh, got him in full guard. It looked initially like he was trying to pass the guard, get the side mount or mount. But Martinez looks to be content here, grounding and pining from the guard. Drake does bring his legs up high, though. Martinez has got to get uh, you know smart with his punches here. Make sure he doesn't overextend himself, bring his arm back. But now he's back up in space. Watch the overhand right. See if he's oh, going to try to dive back down in there. real careful not to get kicked here. He already ate. A, I, th I think it was a left kick by Drake. Martinez diving into Drake's guard. It's difficult. Drake is so long, it's kind of hard to reach him. Ah, Go for a heel hook. That's actually a pretty wise choice. Dropping on his legs right there. See if he it can looks finish. Tight. He's Drake got was the thinking heel. about it. He's got the heel, but it's too high. He's got to catch the heel closer towards the wrist instead of at the forearm. He's oh, done. It's he's over. Wow. That. Poppy's Martinez. Victorious validation for the Tachi Kid. That, in a nutshell, if you ever wondered what a heel hook is like, just watch what happened in that instance to Jason Drake. He started tapping while he was giving a thumbs up. That tells you what a heel hook is like. It's, when you're you're when okay you're, until you're not. Yeah, exactly. Everything's great until it's terrible. When you got your <laughs> thumb up, and, oh, I'm all, uh! <laughs> That's a yeah. serious submission hold right there. Not the cleanest application. Poppy's Martinez might need to go back and look at the Imanari highlight, but that was a really smart choice, as Javi yep. mentioned, and finished very the smart. technique, stuck with it, did it properly. Very smart, very smart choice. He took him down, smart. He got him to open up his guard and dropped on his legs, smart. He was trying to ground and pound, was having dif dif difficulty with the range, uh, the length of Drake, and Martinez was said, oh, that's enough of that, I'll drop on his legs. He didn't expect it. He went for a straight footlock at first, but it was a loose footlock, and he changed to the heel hook. But one thing Drake had showed his inexperience, he didn't try to counter at all. He didn't try to roll, he didn't try to move. He just kind of sat there, making it seem almost like, hey, I'm okay. And, and here, he comes, here comes the heel hook. Look at Jason Drake, he's weathering the storm here. Martinez actually hooked it really low, or excuse me, I say high by, by his own elbow. Generally, you want to hook that heel hook low by the wrist. So, see how Martinez's left arm there, he's hooking the heel really near his elbow. He should be doing it right by his, by his uh, wrist, but he ended up kept breaking it anyways, or, or at least popping it. Yeah, Drake on the stool here in the corner, definitely in some pain. The Tachi kid, victorious. Avi mentioned the experience of Jason Drake, and you did see it there. When he went belly down, his legs were split apart, and he really had no way to control his own body. You know, when, when Poppy's, like, reapplied the heel hook, he was belly down. And he essentially, because he had no leg control over Poppy's Martinez, he surrendered the control of his entire body to Poppy's Martinez just because he had a hold of his leg. See Martinez with his old Native American belt from the old WEC days. Drake's back up, Martinez is there. Let's go get our official decision from Joe Martinez. And gentlemen, the end comes at one minute, 48 seconds. Round number one, submission by heel hook. Your winner, Lamore's own Tachi Ken, Puppy Martinez. Big win for Martinez, he really needed that win. He does it in front of his hometown crowd here in Lemoore. Always a fan favorite going back to basically mixed martial arts inception here.
and Lamore, the Tachi kid, victorious. Poppy's Martinez. You always got to love a heel hook in MMA, too. Hey, leg locks, anytime you get them, they're, they're like dessert. Just You don't get them every so often, but when you do indulge, fun times. I get dessert quite a bit. Well, I mean, there's some guys out there who go for leg locks, leg locks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy's Martinez victorious tonight. Two title fights still yet to go here in Lemoore. Solid night, though, of action. If you